Hey Simmers, welcome back to CPIT Academy. In this video, we will look at how to build this miscellaneous control panel. First, we'll look at the types of switches that need to be used. Some two-way small toggles, pull to turn two and three-way toggles and a three-way flat handle toggle. So far, we haven't been using other types of switches, just toggles, so everything will be very similar. Another thing we need to do is to create a knob. As shown here, this is the landing and taxi light knob. So we built the panel first and then later the knob. So for the panel, this one is a bit um, irregular in shape. I will show you how to draw this. And the sizes are about the same. You can actually make all of them 6.3. The slightly bigger shaft holes um, here are for the pull to turn toggles, which are slightly bigger than the normal small toggles. So we create the, um, five draft holes, place them in the, uh, appropriate positions and set the size. Then we create the recesses. All of them, all five of them have 15 mm wide diameter and 3 mm deep. Then for those that need the locking holes, we use this distance 6.83 and from the center and 2.5 diameter for the locking hole. And Pocket, um, it's about 4.5. Okay. Now we look at how to create the knob for the landing light switch. So first you select the oval icon, which will draw this shape above, which I will demonstrate later, and then you pad it. Then you create two circles and pat them a little bit. Then we switch to the part workbench and create two spheres using here. The starting position will be correct in terms of the height as well. Then you copy and paste a second sphere and move it. the um, x-axis just move it and you come over here then after that you switch back to the parts workbench and do this create this circle at the bottom and pad it to get the shaft then you Click at the bottom again, create another sketch and create a rectangle and then pocket it. Lastly, you come to this surface here, create a sketch, make a circle, pocket it, and then you are done. After you have printed the knob, you want to paint these two domes yellow. It's a bit challenging to paint without smudging the bottom. A better solution might be just to make two holes and actually drop two ball bearings in there. But uh, this knob is so tiny that you are not really going to notice the imperfection when you paint it. Just try your best. 
and you if you over paint it then just paint some black back here then after that you find a small screw and put it over there then put a put a knob over the uh, the toggle as shown here and um looks pretty good so for arduino it's the same thing as the ground power panel wire the two-way toggle just one pin and the three-way toggles a few of them like this and you're done here then for DCS BIOS same thing copy the code assign the pins then save upload the sketch then you can uh, start the serial com port and see the magic happen in DCS so this is the finished panel how it looks like and now time for demo to show the creation of the panel and the knob in FreeCAD and then later the side-by-side -side comparison of the physical switch and DCS now we create the miscellaneous panel I'm not going to go through every step just um, the main parts new body sketch xy plane so here let's say it's around 146 and height is about 100 get the exact dimensions from my slide the then you do this and trim delete this this height is around 70 then I'm just going to show example of one draft hole Six point three for the pull to turn. Let's set this for easy reference. So let's say you created a couple of holes close and then you pad six mm, then you flip to the other side. And you want to do two things create a new sketch and we want to create the recess and locking hole notes start with the recess so set the exact position And then this is about 15 for all the toggle recesses. Close, pocket, about three. And click on this, create another sketch. Once again, don't worry about where to place this. The stating the distance and the height will make everything aligned. with the top and bottom circles so I'm just using 50 here the actual one is different so here for locking hole this is just for reference to find the center of this hole we don't really care about this size here now we create another two holes
roughly here, align them vertical, and then set this to Okay, there is about 2.5, and then the distance is 6.83 from the center, 6.83. All right, so when you're done with this, you want to remove this because we do not want to pocket this. Then close and pack it about 4.5. So this is an example of how you do recess and parking hole. So when you're done with all the recesses and locking holes, this is how it looks like. And if you look at my previous video on how to create the text from the draft workbench, this is what you get. And then you need to pad them one by one like this. Pad 1mm. Then another one. Pad 1mm. You cannot group them and pad. Um, it will just happen one at a time. So just be patient and do all of them. And as usual, when you're done making the uh, padding all the text, then select body and save and export to STL and then print. Okay, to create the landing taxi now, you can download something similar in at thingiverse.com or some other websites but to edit it is quite tedious so we're going to build it ourselves so new body sketch xy plane and use the oval icon and create this this two will be 12 and from here to here is eight. So eight and then you're gonna pet four, okay. And I'm going to reverse the order. I'm going to create the top hole first. The dome, after we create them, will cover up the origin. So I'm going to do this first. It's 6 and 2.75. So I'm going to create a circle here. Two point seven five. And it's going to be in the center is at six. All right. So we park it five mm. Okay. This is done. Oh, it's more than the height. All right. Then we go back to creating this too. So. 5 mm radiant diameter and 12 apart. So create another sketch, create two circles, make sure that both are along the line, if not just make it horizontal with the origin. So this two diameter of 5 and they are all right close pad just one mm now we want to create the spheres we have to switch to part workbench 
click on this and it is 1.8 radius so Five point eight, and then the height. Just move it up the z axis to five. It will be just nice. All right. First sphere is done. Copy and paste. This exact same spot. We want to move x along the x axis down here to twelve, and it comes over here. All right. So this is done. The top is done. Shift to the bottom, select it, and go back to part design, create a sketch. And we want to have a circle to create the shaft of about. 7.5 all right it's big almost the whole width because we want it to be thick so that it's strong so okay this is i already defined the size okay here to the center it's got to be six then we close and we add 12.5 Okay, last thing to do is to create a slot, another sketch here and do this and it's going to be 5 by 2.9, 5, five. 2.9 and 3.5 by 1. Take by five. You can either do this or you want to like the height to be centered. You can click, click, horizontal, symmetry. All right. Now it turns green. It's all good. Close. And we park at 11. All right, we have a shell, we have the domes and this hole for the screw and we are done. You can rename all this properly so that you know what they do. Click save, select this and press control and click this too so that everything is included and then export and you have your STL, okay? Okay, now for this miscellaneous panel, we have it under a different mega. The other one, the ground power panel was under L2, second left console, mega. This one is L1, and as you can see here, this one is under COM5, so, you will have the code here, assign the, you know, the pins, and then in, in just make this and click save and update. Up go. If all goes well, we get this. Then this time round, we want to do the multiple COM port, okay, to run both L1 and L2. So we'll see here, at the when pad plus plus, I have five spins 20. So these are the two COM ports to have run. So close it, run that to the desktop and run. When you're running multiple com ports, when it's running, don't see anything scrolling on the screen. It will just be empty. 
but um, it should work. If you like this kind of detailed tutorials, please support my channel. It takes a lot of time to plan, design, try, and document everything. Please like and subscribe so that um, I can keep working on this. Thanks for watching.